beliefs of the religious are very offensive to me. When I have to read in the newspapers that uh, if I don't accept a, a bogus story about a, a supposed human sacrifice that took place in Jerusalem in something like A.D. 1933, uh, 33, if I don't accept this, I'm going to hell. If I don't accept the, this wonderful offer, I'm extremely offended. I think of all the cruelty and violence and misery and stupidity that's been inflicted by that. I do not go and burn down the nearest Baptist or Catholic church. I'd be ashamed of myself if I did. I don't call for people to form mobs to vindicate my hurt feelings. I, will, I don't do it. The Archangel Gabriel never said a word to the peasant Muhammad. Not a word. The, the, the event, as described, did not take place. I feel quite certain in saying so. Any more than the Archangel Gabriel announced himself to the non-Virgin Mary. <laughs> I find it repellent to, to have to hear of people and the way they're treated who live under systems where that stuff is believed. It couldn't be more offensive to me. Who's ever going to say, well, if your feelings are hurt, Christopher, you're perfectly entitled to go do burn down a newspaper or a house of worship. Right, How contemptible can you possibly I, get? I, I what about the most important minority in the history of the world? Those who have never believed in God, those who believe that an ethical life is possible without religion, those who have studied the stuff and know that Judaism is a derived from ancient race myths and that Christianity is a plagiarism of that and Islam an e even worse plagiarism of the, of the two above who don't want it. There are, there are lots of us. Uh, actually the largest branch of the humanist movement in the world is probably in India which has a wonderful secular tradition. We have to be insulted and outraged every day by what we see and what we read. By slaughter and murder. Slaughter and murder and barbarism and insult and, and superstitious nonsense, we do not reply in kind. We don't say, we'll go and kill you if you go on insulting us like this. Do we get no credit for saying this? When, when has anyone ever said, what's it like to be insulted as someone who thinks that civilization is a real thing? Why is it always interfaith? Why is it always interdenominational? Why can't we say that all of these cults are equal and equivalent glimpses of the untrue. But, but what...